In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your UTM parameters for your Facebook ads. Now, when you're setting up your Facebook ads and you start running a ton of campaigns, you don't know where the data is coming from. What you can do is you can set up UTM parameters to track where those leads are coming from, specific campaigns, specific ad sets, and even down to the exact ad and even the placement. You can find out, are these leads coming from Facebook? Are they coming from Instagram, the stories, reels, which ad, which creative? There's so many different things um, involved when you're running ads and so many variables that you just don't know where these leads com are coming from. Well, the way we do this, we set up UTM parameters that basically whenever a lead comes in, it gets attached to the lead record inside your CRM or your database just to show us where that lead exactly came from. So what is UTM parameters? So UTM stands for Urchant Tracking Module. Now, Urchant Tracking Module, comes from a company urchant software development or something like that, that Google ended up purchasing um, quite some time ago and now they own the rights to this UTM code. So if you go into the Google Analytics um, campaign URL builder, you can set up your URL with different sources. Um, the main sources that you can use are campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, campaign term, which is for keywords, and campaign content. There's five different sources. Uh, and what you do is you input all your sources. Well, you start with your URL, input all your sources in there, and then you can generate this URL. So as you can see, um, here's an example of our website, brandarrow.com. Everything after this question mark is all the UTM parameters. So UTM source equals Facebook ads. UTM medium equals paid social. UTM campaign, Facebook ad launch, UTM yellow dress ad. So now that we have that URL generated, we can just simply copy that and we can bring it over into our Facebook ad. But there is an easier way. And actually a, a way more accurate way. So as you can see, this is a very manual process you know going in and let's say let's figure out which ad it is and talk about the content and you know it's it could be a long laborious process so if you're creating ads in Facebook and you go into your ads manager we are see here we're on the ads tab this is an ad inside Facebook and you scroll all the way to the bottom of the ad you will see URL parameters um, which is optional and you can build a URL parameter. So let's go ahead and build a URL parameter. I'll, I'll show you how we set up our URL parameters, but you can do it any way you want. Um, so with campaign source, what we like to do here is choose placement. So placement will tell you whether it's coming from Facebook, Facebook newsfeed, stories, Instagram newsfeed, Instagram stories, Instagram reels. Um, but it'll pull that in dynamically so we don't have to, you know, manually build out these URL parameters for every single ad we're running. Very cool. I mean, when you're running an ad, uh, you know, you have the ads being placed all over um, Facebook and Instagram and you won't know where it's coming from unless it's set up this way. So we usually put placement there. Now for medium, we usually use ad set name so this kind of gives us an idea of what ad set we're using typically ad sets contain our audiences um there's other things that we we might have going on inside the ad set but that helps us know what ad set the uh, lead came from the next thing campaign name we simply you call this facebook ads um actually you can even upgrade this to meta ads since now it's facebook's meta uh, this is just the generic campaign that these ads are coming from. You can get more specific too if you're doing a specific launch or another campaign that you're running. Now on the content level, this is where we put ad name. So now we know what ad came from. So we'll know that it's coming from meta ads or Facebook ads. 
We'll know its source, exactly where it came from, where it came from Facebook, Instagram, Reels, Stories, whatnot. We'll know what ad set it came from and we'll know the actual ad it came from. So uh, to show you parameter preview down here, all you gotta do is hit apply. And now that URL parameter is set up down here. And what happens is, is it automatically adds that parameter to your URL and it will start tracking these new UTM parameters in your ads. So that's half the battle. Um, you also have to set up your landing page and your CRM or data, database properly to able to capture this information. And I created some other videos where you can go check that out. So highly recommend you set these up on your Facebook ads, especially now with all the iOS tracking issues. This will give you more in-depth, detailed information on where your leads are coming from so you can make better marketing decisions.